Undisputed, Baker Mayfield is projected to be a high first-round pick in the NFL draft. However, he's being compared to Johnny Manziel for on- and off-the-field issues. Now, last month, Mayfield said he saw people trying to portray him, quote, as a bad boy, the Johnny Manziel stuff. The Manziel talked about Mayfield yesterday. Here's Johnny. We're completely different people. You know, we have a, a similar background. We're both from Texas, we're both played Texas high school football, but he's not me and I'm not him. The way my wires are in my head and the way that I'm I'm built and I'm you know my makeup is completely different than Baker. Baker's fiery as hell. He gets a little amped up on the sidelines. Like once you're on the football field and you do some things that are a little outlandish, like guys do that all, all the time. Like was it maybe a little bit too much? Sure. But at the end of the day, God made a mistake. He paid his dues, and, and you know, I think he'll, he'll be better off because of it, and he'll learn from that. But I, I have all the faith in the world in him. I think he's going to be a really good player. And if anything, people can compare him to me, but he can learn from what I did wrong. He can yeah. try and take something that, you know, that I did and, and make it a positive for him and, and learn from it. All right, so there's Johnny. Greg, many ways to go with this um, blanket statement here. Do you think that Baker will be successful in the NFL? Holly? If I could answer that question, I would have a lot of general managers <laughs> calling me, asking right. me to, you to wouldn't be advise, sitting here. absolutely not, to advise them on every draft pick. It, it's, it's yet to be seen. And, and so with saying that, you draw comparisons. That's the first thing you do. When you don't know, you start to draw comparisons and see uh, who is he like, who is he not like. Because of his size, automatically current players in the league he's going to draw comparisons to or be compared to a Drew Brees, the likes of a Drew Brees or a Russell Wilson because of size alone. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of his ability, we know he's not Drew Brees. We know he's not quite Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is a really, really good football player that can extend plays, but he's very accurate with the football as well. Comparing him to Johnny Manziel, I can see why people compare him to Johnny Manziel, and I, I could make the comparison as well because they, they both, they're similar in size. Even their appearance, the way they play the game, they are run-first type of a quarterback, a very fiery when they make plays and when their team is, is having success. Baker Mayfield is a much better thrower of the football. Some of his strengths... His, his, he's better instinctively um, when it comes to his ability to be more accurate. He's a lot more accurate than what I think a lot of people give him credit for. Um, and he, he has a good enough arm to where he can make every single throw on the football field. But his weaknesses are what stand out to me because he's a mixed bag when you look at strengths and weaknesses. He's, he's undersized, obviously. Some of the decisions that he's made oh, on the field and off the field is poor, so you question his maturity. Um, he's inconsistent when he is outside the pocket of throwing the ball down the field. But having said all of that, he's a playmaker. And so you have to see in-game experiences and in-game situations to make that judgment call to where we can say, is he going to be successful? Is he not? I can tell you who I would compare him to. Um, the 49ers had a quarterback, um, uh, Jeff Garcia. Remember very, him well. Yeah. Very, very, very deep, uh, really decent career. Uh, not a great career, but in his good years, he was really yeah. good. He very effective. The Lions. He Absolutely. The Eagles, yeah. right? Tough guy. Could run. Very athletic. Uh, Baker Mayfield, a lot more athletic than even Jeff Garcia. He has a better arm than Jeff Garcia. So I think there is an upside there. I think he has to calm down on some of the antics. I don't want him to lose it because when you talk about a leader, a quarterback, you want them to be fiery. You want them to be controlled fiery, though. You don't want them to show that they, they're uncontrollable with their emotions. So I think that's something he wants. he's going to have to hone in on and focus in on. But as far as playing football, the kid can flat out play. He can flat out play. But college defense and schemes are a lot different than when you're playing in the NFL and you're going against a professional defense, a fast flow defensive lines, linebacker levels, and secondary that is, has more than one good defender 
on your number one guy, everybody back there can make plays. So his decision making and all of those things are going to be questioned out the gate because in college, you can scramble, somebody's going to be free, the defense is going to break down, and you're going to make plays if you're a, a, an elite athlete. And that's what he's been able to do. So it's yet to be seen. Mm -hmm. um, my hope is that he is successful. We'll Man, see. Like you said, look, we never know. It's so hard to tell with quarterbacks. But if I had to pick the three you did initially, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, Johnny Manziel, I hate to say it, but I'd say he's going to be closer to Johnny Manziel. Not off the field stuff. Manziel derailed himself with his off the field stuff. On the field, he looked okay, pretty good at times. But I see Mayfield being, yeah, being closer to that than a breeze. Mayfield, we know they're all short, same size. I think I don't think Mayfield has the arm that Drew had. I mean, there's been talk recently about Drew's arm strength. Is it the same? But it was strong earlier. And I don't think I think Mayfield's arm is accurate. He can place the ball. I don't think he's that strong armed though. And then you look at Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, one of his greatest attributes is maturity, leadership. I don't. I, Mayfield was a leader in Oklahoma, I guess, but he doesn't have the maturity that a Russell Wilson had. And Russell Wilson scrambles and can make plays. Wilson run a four five forty. They're estimating that Baker Mayfield will run anywhere from four seven to four nine. I don't know with that. I'm not saying you have to be a burner at the quarterback, but is he even going to be able to scramble and make those plays in the NFL that he made in college? And finally, here's the thing. You mentioned the defenses in college versus the NFL. How about the defenses? Let's take it a step further. In the Big 12, where they play no defense, there have been – who is the last really good quarterback to come out of the Big 12? I mean, the only two that have made Pro Bowls recently – are Vince Young and RG3, who were bust. Here's some of the other high draft picks who come out of the Big 12 as quarterbacks. Bryce Petty, Geno Smith, Landry Jones, Ryan Tannehill, Brandon Whedon, Blaine Gabbert, Sam Bradford, Colt McCoy, Josh Freeman, all very good college quarterbacks in the weak defensive Big 12. In the NFL, couldn't do a thing. And so I would bet against him being really highly successful in the NFL. Yep. I, I agree with both you guys that it's so hard to project guys, especially when they're not the prototypical quarterbacks that NFL guys look for. The GMs just look for a size and a height. And you know what I mean? Those are the guys that they normally pick. But I, I can remember the Drew Brees draft very vividly. I was on the radio back then in Detroit. And I remember I wanted the Lions to take him. If you remember, I think he was the first pick in the second round. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even a, people passed on him strictly because he wasn't tall enough. Yep. Not because he couldn't play or he didn't have a good college career. He had a great career. He did. And 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 people passed on him out of Purdue. And I remember saying, "Wow." But uh, Baker Mayfield, I look uh, in looking up some stuff. His numbers stack up uh, with Russell Wilson as far as college. So so it's not like they're off the charts. If you really go look at his their, numbers, are, his great numbers are really, really good. Mm -hmm. But but I I think general managers have to be careful because I think we saw that with Deshaun Watson. I'm not saying they're the same player. But people discounted what he did in college. You know, like and I, and I, and sometimes you're gonna look at guys and say, well what did he do? Is he a winner? Does he does he make things happen? Do you know what I mean? And take a chance the intangibles, not just the strictly, he doesn't fit our size, he's a little guy, he's not going to be Drew Brees, and you kind of not take him seriously or that he can't make plays. So I understand when people look and say he's not going to be a star in the NFL. I get that. I'm not going to bet against him. I'm going to say he's going to be better than Johnny Manziel. Uh, all yeah, 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 he should be I mean, that, that's not saying yeah, a whole lot. Exactly. No, 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 no. But I'm saying if he stays in the league, he'll be better than Johnny Manziel. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, it, it also depends on where you wind up, you know what I mean, and, and the situation you're in. But I think he could have a, a really good career in the NFL. Yeah, you, you, talk about, you talked about some of the quarterbacks that were in the Big 12. I think the issue with a lot of these college quarterbacks, specifically in the Big 12, is the, the spread offenses. When you get to the NFL – you can run spread, but you are going to have to play 
under center. Yes, yes. Footwork becomes paramount. His footwork and timing, it. timing becomes paramount under center. That's where these guys struggle and tend to have the setbacks when you ask them to go from that comfort zone of that spread offense, seeing the field like that, you get underneath that center. Now your footwork has to time up with these routes and everything else. It, it, it is a huge overlooked point of emphasis that a lot of, a lot of fans probably never pay attention to. But when you're looking at a, drafting a quarterback high, Footwork is important, and that's one thing that Baker Mayfield does not have great. Who was the best quarterback you ever played with? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I had a couple. You know, I had one is a Hall of Famer, one is a future first ballot Hall of Famer. So, I mean, you can flip a coin. No, I want you to make a pick. Uh, best a quarterback Rock. I ever played with. Yeah, I, I, I give. I tip the hat to Aaron. Aaron, j just because of the decision making. I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, but, you knew that. But that's. <laughs> That's neither here nor there, right. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> but you hit it on the head. His footwork is not good. And, and that's a tough adjustment. That's yeah, a great you point. mentioned you mentioned Deshaun Watson. He's I'm sold on him right now. But a lot of people weren't though. You're right. Out of college. That's all I'm saying is like but he also he, had but he has ship intangible right. and size. On the field. Like he, yeah. he fit the mold of what you're looking for as an NFL quarterback. When you size matters. I mean, you mentioned it about Drew Brees. You gotta you gotta be able to throw over those defensive linemen, not get your balls knocked down. Right. It it, it matters. Don't it get makes your balls knocked down. I know. That's, when that's, I said that's, that. That's what we'll end on. When I said that, that didn't really <laughs> That's how we'll leave that one. We'll go back to talking about it's something that we loved. <laughs> a topic that we loved earlier today. It's the time for Lonzo to speak out against his father. We say yes, one hundred percent. Absolutely. What does former NBA All-Star Kenyon Martin say? That's coming up next. Keep it here.